we're really pleased everyone could come out this morning and, and partake in what we really see here as a, a community event, a new beginning for the Titusville area. Uh, the port and the city of Titusville and Brevard County and North Brevard creating a true partnership. There have been a lot of people involved in getting us to this day. Today marks another first as we break ground on this on our first inland port facility. It is exciting for me and for all of us to be part of our growing cargo operation, especially in this North Brevard area where rebirth is greatly needed. It is rewarding to be part of the Ports Initiative to generate jobs and business opportunities for the county and for the North Brevard area, which this state-of-the-art facility will do, creating construction jobs, as you see the men and people working today, plus operation jobs as the facility becomes operational uh, and new businesses come in to use this facility. This is not a building like any other in Brevard County. And today, we elevate our community uh, to compete in the national arena as a premier maritime gateway. Titusville Logistics Center is going to be a strong force in the economic development for North Brevard. I've been in Brevard County since 79 and I was on the North Brevard Development Commission from 82. I can't tell you the number of times somebody would come to town and say, do you have warehousing? Do you have spec buildings? Do you have offices? And the answer was, no, we don't. And those people would go to other communities and relocate, which really hurt our economic base. But now that is not true. We have a state-of-the-art warehouse. When, when we ask, do we have available warehousing? We can say, yes, we have some of the best in the nation. What we need to be aware of is the jobs that this is doing to our county, and especially North Brevard. North Brevard's probably been hurt worse than anybody with the close of the space shuttle and all that in space. But one thing about North Brevard, they persevere. They have good leadership from city, county, and state. As long as we, we as state, will fund our ports, you'll see economic development come. With the changing of the Panama Canal coming, and with the West Coast being basically built out, East Coast is going to have some opportunities to thrive. Business is driven primarily through transportation. If you think about where people live, it's usually around where ports are, where railroads are in our country. So as this port begins to grow, it will grow the community and it will grow jobs and it will grow the infrastructure that is here. This is really a new, new era. Speaking on behalf of the entire Titusville City Council, the city staff, and 44,000 residents of the city of Titusville, we are profoundly pleased that Florida Global Logistics and Port Canaveral have chosen Titusville as their next place to do business. We welcome you, we are glad you're here, and we look forward to a long and prosperous relationship. So I don't know about you, but I'm ready to put some shovels in the ground. Ron.